Welcome folks, I am Technivorous. Today we are going to be working on something kind of special. So this is a fancy little case that I'm working on and I'm going to be 3D printing this guy. And what's special about this guy is it has magnets embedded inside it. So today we're going to go over how to embed those magnets and we're going to be using the pause at height feature in Kira which is a little bit different for the Ender 3 V2 than with the regular Ender 3 or Ender 3 Pro. So I'm going to show you how to set that up properly and we're going to use that pause feature to not only change filaments but we are also going to insert our magnets and then continue the print. So all of that coming up right now. Technivers channel is brought to you by these fine Patreon supporters. Check us out on Patreon at patreon.com slash technivers. Alright, so what are we doing? Today we have this model, as I showed you a while ago. I'm still working on the finished design. We're kind of doing some prints and test prints and getting uh, familiar and making sure that the pieces fit properly and things work like that. One of the things that I've run into is my Ender 3 doesn't want to pause when I do that insert a layer change. So we'll go over that in just a second, but let me show you the exact layer we're trying to change here. Let's go ahead and hide this and this and this. And in fact, we'll deselect that as well. I have it set to semi-transparent, so you can kind of see the inner workings of it. And that is because if you look here, this cavity is entirely closed in except for this. So what's going to what's gonna be in here is a square-shaped magnet and a bolt. And that is going to be a magnet-activated lock. It's going to slide into a piece of the lid that for some reason you can't see from this angle. Let's see. Okay, there it is right there. So um, you'll press a magnet against the outside and it'll slide that bolt in and slide that bolt out. And the backside's just a hinge. So what we're trying to do is we're printing it upside down since the base is a different piece and this is basically just four walls. So we're trying to stop it right here so we can insert that bolt and the magnet and then print over the top. That way there's no way those pieces can come out and it'll be pretty secure. However, like I said, I was getting some issues using Kira to do this. So let's jump over to Kira and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. On this particular model, this is the one we were just looking at and I have it exactly where I want it as far as pausing it. That's gonna be layer 48 for me. You can see down here I do have the post-processing script enabled. And in fact, I have two of them turned on and that is right here. The reason I have two of them turned on is because I'm gonna be pausing at layer one here as well. So it started to print. We're gonna transition over there in just a minute, but let me show you the settings real quick. And basically, uh, we have this change to layer number. You can set it to height. We're gonna leave it at layer number. And this is where I would put in layer 48 if I wanted to stop right here. You can pick whatever layer you want. If you wanna do a, a filament change, if you want to do multiple changes at multiple heights, you're going to have to do multiple pauses and make sure that they're all set up properly. Say here with the BQ M25, you would assume this is Marlin. It should be Marlin, but for some reason, it doesn't work properly unless you select this with the Ender 3 V2. So select BQ M25 and then go ahead and set disarm timeout to zero if it's not already. That'll keep it from disarming. You have the park print head X and Y. Those were set to two random values, and I just changed them to zero. That'll park them at the front left of the bed instead of hovering them over the model. Then there is the retraction speed, which is set to 25, and we're going to leave that alone. Let's go look at this other one, because I did make a couple adjustments after testing this initial one, and you'll see here in a minute when we restart this print that it does leave a little blob if you don't retract that. So the adjusted retraction settings are to retract three millimeters and to extrude 2.8 millimeters. The speeds you can leave the same. And I did that because I increased my standby temperature from zero to 200. This is gonna be a fast swap, so I don't want it to cool down in between. I want it to be right back up and running. And you can change the display text. This one says insert magnet, that'll show up on my screen. This one says test pause, that will show up on my screen during that pause and if you were going to do a bunch of color changes that might be what you want to put in there just to make it show up. But one of the most important parts of this is the g-code before and after pause. You need these two M300 commands. I know it's annoying. You literally put any command there in order to get it to work properly but without that 
without either of them it will just pause and then continue on its own if you don't put something in the g-code after pause it won't allow you to continue the print after it pauses you'll have to stop and start over and it's really really annoying so i just use the beep even though i don't like it because it's simple it doesn't get in the way it doesn't have anything to do with the operation of the machine or anything it just gives you a loud annoying beep when it's time to change and another one after you hit resume so now let's jump over to the other view here if i can remember how to work my software there it is so this is my ender 3 v2 we are printing this is the same model that i just showed you um, i've printed it a couple times now in fact we can see i have a couple versions here and if you'd like to see a demonstration of the mechanism um, and, and like i said i'm only printing it at this height because i want to make sure everything's working properly um, but here we have the base so it'll sit in here this is probably the fullest one I completed uh, except I couldn't get the pause to work so I had to drill through the top and it, it works pretty well uh, I made a couple adjustments to the hinge though uh, on the bottom of the base there's magnets in the base and that worked pretty well I just manually paused it and put them in there but I wanted to have a way to make sure I did it if I walked away that it would pause there no matter what. So um, you can see here, I do gotta get the right side of the magnet, that the latching mechanism works pretty well. And it works pretty well at most angles. Without it closed in, it will sometimes pop out. And we don't want that, but it works really, really well. So. Um, I want to get that embedded in this piece and get it all finished up. I have some really interesting stuff on my floor over here. You can't really see it behind me, but it is some brand new filament that I'm not really allowed to show you and probably shouldn't tell you about uh, from Polymaker. So super, super secret. You'll see that stuff coming up at the end of this month, so stay tuned for that. But I'm going to be making one of these boxes out of that filament. I think uh, the specific colors are going to be fantastic. It should be a lot more ornate and things like that by then, but yeah, um, that's the whole reason I came up with this concept of the, the magnet box. So pretty soon we're gonna get to the end of the first layer and this is going to stop and it's going to beep at me. It is gonna be a little bit longer here, but not much. This is an example of the first layer last time. And as you can see, we are pretty close to uh, having that formation already. There are just very few parts it needs to fill in. So as it continues to go around, let's go take a look at Kira one more time. The interesting thing here is every time I change the scripts, I have to re-slice. So you will have to slice before adding the script and then go to preview to find the particular layer that you're trying to add the scripts to um, but then you can add the script and re-slice so and that's basically the gist of this I just wanted to explain how I did it and make sure you see that you have all those M300 commands in there without that it is really not going to work so um, we have just a minute or two left to go here I'm going to pause the video. We'll jump ahead to right about when it's ready for the change. And there's the pause. Almost missed the beep. Um, but as you can see, we are ready to go here. We can just go back over to print and resume printing. And it should carry on its merry way. It's going to take a minute. That refeed speed for that retraction, I think, is a little slow, so we'll adjust that as well. But it should go in just a minute here. go it's resuming and right back to where it needs to be continuing on its merry way so 
that's the way to institute that pause command with the Ender 3 V2 and that's gonna be it if this video was helpful for you guys stick around we got lots more to come make sure you hit that subscribe button leave a like on this video and I will be doing another video shortly on how to embed magnets into this piece but we have to wait for the next layer change so stick around if you'd like to see how to use magnets inside your 3D prints. It's actually pretty cool. Like I said, you kind of get this effect right here where I have magnets embedded in both of these pieces and they simply just kind of snap into place. It's kind of nice. A little hide a key there for my chest. And yeah, Technivorous out. Well, that's it guys. That's gonna wrap up this video. If you've noticed the shirt, the merch is available. Go ahead and check out the Teespring merch link down below. It won't be available on a channel store until I reach 10,000 subscribers. And so far, I am just about to hit 5,000. So uh, it'll be a little while, a couple more months before you see this on the actual channel. But they are available now. I have a couple other designs. Feel free to pop over there and check them out. And know that any purchase through the Teespring site definitely helps to promote our site here and increase the channel's ability to make videos in the future. So we appreciate all your support. Don't forget to check out the Teespring link, check out our Patreon link, leave a like on this video and hit that subscribe button because we have a lot more coming at you in the coming days.